Hello and welcome. My name is Ethan Amelis Troll, and today I'll be showcasing some of the features within Tacuments Corpex SharePoint integration. In today's video, I'll be describing how the integration works, along with demonstrating how it works within the Documents Corpex dialog, Power Automate, and Classic workflows. Now, this video serves as a visual guide for some articles that we have on our website, so if you want to go check out those articles, do make sure to check out the video description down below. Now then, let's get started. So, here we are, SharePoint integration of Documents Core Pack. So how exactly does SharePoint integration work? Basically, uh, it works by connecting your service, uh, connecting uh, SharePoint to your Documents Core Pack service, and you're utilizing the Dynamics 365 SharePoint integration. So then our solution will then adhere to the rules defined by this integration uh, to, for example, automatically choosing the correct document location. So generally, in Documents Core Pack, you can design and create documents with Dynamics 365 slash Dataverse data, and then you can save those documents to SharePoint, and within SharePoint, you can manage them with all of SharePoint's document management capabilities, like versioning, co-authoring, and so on. And of course, there's the benefits to this as well. You'll have the data consistency, you have ease of user adoption, and of course, you can save on some time. So generated documents can be saved to SharePoint via one of three different methods. We have the Documents Core Pack dialog, where you can save generated documents to SharePoint in Dynamics 365 and other model-driven apps. You have Power Automate, where you can use the Documents Core Pack connector and then generated documents can be saved to SharePoint via flows. And then of course, we have our classic workflows where you can configure them, uh, configure actions and other classic processes to generate and save documents to SharePoint that way. So to demonstrate how some of these things work, we're gonna take a look at two different examples with the dialog and Power Automate. So let's go ahead and open up this that we have right here. So we have a little bit of a, an example record that I'd like to show off here. To show off how this works, we're going to go ahead and click on the Create Document button that is available on the record. It'll load up, and of course, we're just going to select the template that we want here. And you'll see that we are at the document process uh, part of this generation. So at the screen, once you have SharePoint configured in your Dynamics environment, this option will appear, the Saved SharePoint checkbox. And when you click it, then, and you continue on with the document generation process, this means this will be saved to SharePoint. Now, when this is saved to SharePoint, it will be saved at the location of the record itself within SharePoint. And I'll, I'll show you how that exactly works in a second. But from here, you can also define the subfolder. So if at this document location, there is a subfolder, you can also select to save it within that subfolder. We're just going to leave it like this for now. I'm going to go ahead and click Create Document. And it will create a document here. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. And then to see the generated document, you can either go to Related here and click on Documents, or if, it's, if you've already clicked it recently, you can just click on Documents up here. And it will show you the document associated grid. And you'll see here it also even has the SharePoint document location name, and it will show us the documents that we have generated and saved at this location. This one is the one that we just created just one minute ago. And if you click on it, you open up, you will see that this is indeed the document that we've generated. So that's that. And that's how that works within the dialog. Now, if we're going to take a look at how it works in flows, I'm going to go ahead and click over to this tab here. You see that I've already got a, a flow set up here. And this is pretty straightforward. Now, what you can do is you can already uh, set up the set up an action here, create document sync. Uh, you know what, actually, just to show off how this works from just the new step. You can go ahead and 
type it in the documents core pack connector once you have that set up. You can search for connectors and actions. We're just going to go ahead and find the create document sync action. And then from here, you can select a template from the dropdown. In this case, we'll just go with the quote sample. You'll have to select the or enter the row ID, which we'll just go and select for quote. And of course, there is the file type you need to select. We'll go with PDF. Now, once you have this configured, there's one other uh, option that you have to configure if you want to utilize our SharePoint integration through flows, and that is the saved to SharePoint setting. This is just pretty simple and straightforward. You can just select yes here. And then once this is saved, if this flow is saved, you can then run this flow and much like how it worked in the dialogue, the generated document will then be saved to the document location where you can then view it and manage it within SharePoint. So I think that about covers what, we're, what I want to cover here. Of course, there's one extra bit I wanted to mention here as well before we go. And that is some of the additional features that we have within our SharePoint integration. Uh, now, this isn't necessarily all of them, but just some highlights. Uh, up in the top left here, we have uh, the ability to create document locations where you can automate the creation of document locations and folders on SharePoint for your records. We have SharePoint metadata where you, autom uh, you can automatically uh, have, you can automatically populate metadata on SharePoint with values out of uh, Dataverse and Dynamics 365. We have editable sections where you can update your Dynamics 365 documents while keeping changes to sections in place. And then, of course, uh, we have our attached email feature where users are able to select documents to be attached to emails created through the dialog uh, and then attach those documents from the connected SharePoint location. Now, of course, uh, for all of these features and even what we've covered here today, uh, we have articles on our website that go into more detail on these things. So. If you want to check that out, if you want to explore these additional features as well, please make sure to check out the video description for links to these features. But with that said, I think that's about going to cover it for today's presentation. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I hope this it was able to give you some insights on Documents Corpex SharePoint integration. If you like the video, do consider giving it a like and consider subscribing to our channel here. And like I said, if you want to check out more information on any of the features I just described here, do consider checking out the video description down below for a link to the website and all of these features. So thank you once again, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.